All right, today's project is going to be uh, putting up a mast for my ham radio antenna. Um, this is a seven foot uh, tennis court sized fence post which has been pounded into the ground and um, is set in about a hundred pounds of concrete um, covered up with dirt as well. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is kind of cut the top of that off a little bit, make it narrower so when I lean the mast up against the house, um, it'll catch a little bit easier, I want it to be straight up and down to get it on there. And uh, let's go take a look at the mast and so forth. Alright, so here is the mast. Um, two fence posts, total of 18 feet. Um, these are connected together in the middle here. couple of cross bolts through there. Um, it's a corner post on the outside, a runner post on the inside. Um, they are different dimensions and they do fit inside each other nicely. So that's pretty well firmed up. And that's what will be going on top of that post I just showed you. And as far as the antenna goes, we'll walk over there next. Alright, this is the Tram 1480 dual band antenna that I'll be uh, attaching to the top of that post. It's about 8 foot long, it is uh, 2 meter and 70 centimeter, um, 40 bucks on Amazon, or maybe 50. Um, assembly, very easy. Make sure you do read the instructions if you do get one of these and put it together, because inside of here you do need to make an internal connection, you don't just screw the top to the bottom. And those are my three components along with the cable of course so I'm gonna start putting this together put the camera away because things take a lot longer when I'm filming them and uh, I'll be back when ready to uh, hoist it alrighty about an hour or so later um, cut the top of the post to uh, make it more receptive to the, uh, the mast didn't lose any length, still got a good four feet of pipe there, three and a half, four feet. Uh, the mast is ready to go. Walk up the hill here. This is our Tram 1480. Comes with all that mounting hardware, fit on there nice. Um, one thing I don't like about this is this bit of metal in here is a bit rough. Um, I did have some electrical tape on there, but couldn't slide those connectors over it with the electrical tape, so I pulled that off. But it should be fine, it's not going to be moving much. And there is the rest of the antenna. There is a power line up there, but I don't think I'm going to hit it. And if I do, I'll probably just get more videos than uh, if everything worked right. So, I'll get a view from here. So the plan is, walk this thing up, lean it against the roof of the house, and then uh, plant it on top of that post there. Um, obviously I'll rotate this so the cable is away from the roof before I do that. And I'm going to put you on the tripod, take a minute break, and get this thing done.
Not too shabby. Let me detach you here. That was a little bit of exercise. So, definitely well clear of the roof line. And now I just got to drill a hole through the wall. I'll be good. I won't bother showing that though. This does it for this one. Have a good one.